Today, mommy, mommy has to film the podcast today. Again. I didn't. Ha I just had a meeting the other day. Want to come lay in my bed with me? Good morning, welcome to the vlog. I am in the same top as in last vlog. <laughs> Cause that's how much I like it. I love it so much. Anyways, got my steamer rolling. I'm about to steam a sweatshirt, I'll put on over this, and then I'll wear this too. I've got some Lululemon biker shorts on. My steamer's ready, hold on. Okay, busting out my Dolly Parton sweatshirt today. Just gonna throw this on over. I know it's probably really hot outside, but just kind of felt like wearing this today, biker shorts. And then we're actually, I'm headed to Ashton's house because we're going to record a couple podcasts today. Today's Thursday and we always record podcasts on Thursdays. But I told you guys in my last video, like things have been so nuts for us lately with summer schedules and childcare and traveling. And so today we're actually gonna film two podcasts, record two podcasts just so we can kind of get ahead a little bit because we've been behind and our schedules have been nuts. So I'll wear this for one and then I'll pull it off and wear it for the other. A little behind the scenes, if you will. It is 8.45 right now. I need to leave here in about an hour. Had a little bit of time with the Lord, which was nice. Cuddled Addison and Hunter. Uh, Brody's awake now too. He's in my bed as well. All three of them are laying in my bed. Watching a show, Steven had a meeting early this morning, like 7.30, so he'll be back in a little bit. He's got more like meetings and webinars, but he's just gonna hang here at the house, like do his webinars and stuff from here. The big kids will be out there playing and Hunter will be down for his morning nap while I run and do these podcasts really quick before I come back to be with the kids the rest of the day. So that is our plan. I hope you enjoy this day in the life. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but behind the scenes of like, you know, a podcaster or something like that, but just kind of showing you what my day looks like as I'm prepping for a podcast. So like last night before I went to bed, I did some prep. So the two episodes that we're recording today, I kind of like went through and made notes on my phone of just some key points that we're going to be talking about. Today we're sharing more in, or I'm sharing more in depth on one of the episodes about my time, like writing in Nashville and music stuff and all of that, like a lot of in-depth stories and stuff that I think y'all will enjoy hearing and just like, I don't know, my journey through it all and walking with the Lord through laying down of dreams and you know, anyway, so. Uh, I hope you'll go give that a listen once that's live. But anyways, I'm gonna just finish getting ready here and then I'm gonna go make myself a quick breakfast. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. I'm trying to drink water now. I had a cup of coffee, but I'm trying to like not drink so much coffee every day and trying to drink like a cup of coffee and then lots of water instead of just like drinking multiple cups of coffee until like noon. <laughs> Let's get into this vlog. Is it a little bit of danger that we seek? 
Walking closer to the edge than we really should. Why do we let our hearts break out there? Time and time again. So avocado toast has been my jam lately, and so this week starts kind of dark right here. So I bought some of these everything bagels. Instead of doing toast, I actually ran out of my everything but the bagel seasoning. So I bought these. I need to get more from Trader Joe's. And I just do this with avocado on top, like instead of cream cheese, and it's so good. I bought these little avocados, and I like them because then I can just do a whole avocado, and it's not as big as the large ones. So I like the small ones. And then plus, if you open up and you just use a half, it turns brown and all that. So I like using the smaller ones. Squeeze it on, I'll show you how I do it, and it's a delicious breakfast. And later when I get back, I'm gonna make a really yummy juice and I'll show you what I put in it. I've been on a juicing kick ever since we got home from Seaside, and it just like makes me feel so good. The kids love it, they call it Hulk juice, and they're obsessed, and it's a great way to get some fruits and veggies in. Got my bagel. Now, something you guys don't know about me, I'm gonna pull my sleeves up for this, is that almost every single time I eat avocado, I, um, using one of Brody's knives, I need to run the dishwasher. Anyways, er, almost every single time I eat avocado, I get it on me. Typically it's guac, but literally every time. And I really try hard to be super careful and not get it on me. But then like hours later, I'll find it on my sleeve or I'll find it somewhere. So, not not my best trait, but I'm not really sure what the deal is. But anyways, okay. So I'm just literally gonna squeeze it on so I don't have to dirty up another thing and then I'll just kinda like, I'll show you. Okay, I'll just, uh, I don't know if y'all can see good. Sorry, I'm, you've, you're sitting on my milk frother because I don't have time to like get a tripod and do all this. It's like 9.20. It'll leave in about 20 minutes and then you get the big kids breakfast too. Hey hunter boy. Hi Bubba. He's like teething so bad. I feel so bad for him. His top gums are so swollen. I don't know if I told y'all that. Yeah, I told y'all in the last vlog. But man, it's like they're really, really swollen. I feel really bad for him. I don't think he like feels very good. And then he's like congested, which I don't know why he would be congested. But I think that kind of goes along with teething maybe. I don't know. Anyways, okay, there we go. Kind of squishing around, and salt, salt, pepper. Bon appetit. Going to enjoy this with some water. I think of Sapa's baby, we're fueled by hope. And in a time and age, we're Taking on the step and hope to fly. And we fly like light. Okay. It is like 940. About to head out. 945. Okay. Addison just like ripped my ponytail when I was hugging her by. She's like, don't leave. Don't leave. Love that girl. Okay. Throw on some lipstick. Usually once I get there, it's always like crazy trying to get everything all set up to do it really quickly because I only have a short window of time to do this and she's always like on a tight time schedule too. So we just have to get it in when we can. And we Okay, we just filmed one episode. Now I'm changing the batteries on our recorder. I'm about to get, do another one really fast before I have to go. And we roll the dice. Okay, I am 
racing home because I was supposed to leave Ashen's house 15 minutes ago and I am late <laughs> so that Steven can leave our house and head to a lunch meeting. So anyways, rushing home, but I'm glad we got two podcasts recorded. We desperately needed to do that so that we can get ahead. And I think they're really good. Like I told you guys, we did one on just my journey with music and songwriting. And then we ended up doing one on disappointment. And so I think that you'll be really encouraged by that. You know, disappointment is a, a big beast uh, to navigate and to combat and battle. And so um, we're just sharing some of our experiences with disappointment and how we've walked through that with the Lord. So um, I hope that you'll go check that out if you, if you feel like it. All right, I am home now and we are about to make some juice. Addie really wants to show you this knife. Brody got these in his Easter basket. He has this one and then he's looking for his Santoku, which is... It's a green the, one. It's green, right? Yeah. I don't know where it went. That's kind of weird. I hope it didn't it's get like thrown handle. away or something. Getting my Santoku because we're about to chop some veggies and yeah. fruit and we're going to make a yummy juice. Right, Addie? So, well, what are we... Just use this, use this one. Okay. okay, this is Brody's chef knife he's gonna use. Cause they like to help chop. These are really cool like kids knives so they won't cut them. But anyways, what, so what do we call our juice guys? Hulk juice. Uh, squat down a little so they can see you. Hulk juice. Hulk juice. And what all do we put in it? Um, do y'all know? Oranges, carrots. Carrot, uh, well we just did that, we did carrots that one day because we were running out of ingredients and we had them. So today we're gonna do Spinach, spinach, spinach kale, 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 lemons, lemons, limes, no, limes. just lemons, ginger, 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 apples, 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 orange, orange, celery, celery, and I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> so it's gonna be really yummy. It's they love it. Really I love it. I love it. Hunter, I love it. Hunter is what's Hunter is eating? He's waffle. Sitting, he's sitting down here eating a waffle right now. So, he um, scraggled up. Yeah, he scraggled. He's just having a brunch. He's in a teeny wee. Feet off the counter. Feet off the counter. That's gross. <laughs> All right, let's get our ingredients. Bro. Okay. Get the ingredients out of the fridge. Let's go. We got our handy dandy Mom, juicer that I'm borrowing from my mother-in-law. Ever since I got, oh, we're not. No, those are clementines. We're gonna do the big oranges. Wait, when I got home from clementine? Seaside, they're called clementines. Those are clementines, no, the little ones. She calls them clementines. Well, that's, yeah, that's okay. When I got home from Seaside, I was craving fresh juices, and so I'm borrowing my mother in juicer. Oranges. I need to give it back soon, but I'm like loving it. I need the celery. <laughs> so no, good. Just, oh, okay, get kale. that. That's the kale. That's the kale. Oh, oh is that, are you okay? Is that your toe? Okay, so we've got all of our stuff. Then we've got our spinach and our kale. So we're gonna prep all of this, get it kind of chopped a little bit, take the skin off of these um, for where they need to be for our juicer. And let's get juicing, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's like literally my favorite combo. Mm -hmm. It's 
delicious. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Dad. Cheers. Ah. Let me know if you try it. It's so good. I like to put, oops, I flung some in your hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like to put it on ice. I think it makes it taste yummier when it's a little colder. Yeah. What are you doing? Coming to play with you. Hunter's on the move. Here, look. Can you come crawl to me? Look. Do I have anything interesting? Look, you want my juice? I don't want to tease him, but here. No? I have to figure out something to make him excited to crawl for. But he likes these cups, of course. Hmm? He does. Yeah. He likes the cups. You think he'll crawl over here for them? Whatever you crawl. Have a little drink of this. A little bit. Do you already drank all your juice and now you're coming for mine? No, not all of it. Just a tiny drink. Teensy sip. As Addie would say. Teensy. <laughs> so yummy, huh? Hey, Ad. Okay, really careful. Okay? Oh. You don't spill. <laughs> look, look. Why oh, are you crying? Hey, crying? I want to stack cups with him. You want to stack them? Yeah. Hey, Hunter, Hunter, like, I mean that. Oh. I don't think I said this. He's like army crawling, not like crawl crawling. Let's see. Army crawling? Yeah, you army crawl. You are, you are like the best army crawler. Addy, I think, just went straight to like normal crawling. Because <laughs> we love oh, army. Going that? Where's that? Mm. Where's your juice? It's over here. Hey, Hunter, you want this? Want these stars? I'm gonna stack them with him. Wait, I going to give us Mom, the which one is the bigger? Hey, I'm gonna do some magic. Because I know how to. A magic trick? Yeah. Okay. Hold up. I have these two big stars. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> you got the camera! You trying to get the camera? Oh no! Mom, I have all these stars mm -hmm. and I can do fake magic. Okay, show me. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with this medium blue one. Mm -hmm. Please close your eyes. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Abracazam! Where could it be? It just disappeared? Uh-huh. Wow. Ready? Close your eyes again and cover the camera. <laughs> Abra Kazam. Wow. That is impressive. You are a good magician. Wow. I'm going to do it. <laughs> no, here. Use this one. Cover it. Okay. Apple could Apple could Where did it go? Daddy? I'd like to talk to the one. I can. The one? Okay. They don't be me Why did you make them? What is it about babies that love to crawl for phones? They always want your phones or like remotes. So let's see if he'll crawl for this. Hunter. Hunter, look, look, what's this? Oh, look, you see my phone? <gasps> Are you gonna army crawl? Oh look, he's doing it. Get it, get it, get it. <gasps> oh, oh, good job. Okay, okay, come on Hunter. You can do it. <gasps> can you get it? Hunter, Hunter, let's see if he'll get this. Be careful with the knife. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Put it back so you can get it. Good job, Hunter. Baby. You did it. Get the ball. Oh, he's like, no, I just want your phone. Good job, Hunty. How are you getting so big? Oh. Oh my goodness, poor baby. Your big siblings are always messing with you, aren't they? All right, the kids are eating their lunch. They're having a bison burger, rice, and some cheese. Obviously, finished their juices. The same thing, and I thought I'd heated up my bison burger, so I went ahead and put mustard all over it, and then I just realized it was cold. 
So now I've just heated it with mustard all over it, but hopefully it doesn't make it weird. Is it hot? Can't tell, hold on. Okay, I guess it's all right. Bison burger, so the kids rewards charts. I don't think I told y'all over here, I told over on Instagram. Want more? Okay, hey guys, it's been a little bit that I've vlogged last. Hunter's standing in his little thing, having a little snack of more bison burger. This kid doesn't stop eating. I'm telling you, I just nursed him, and then he just would not like chill out, and he was just kept yelling. So I was like, maybe he's like still hungry. I literally just nursed him, and so I um, sorry the lighting is really bad. Let me try to close it. Anyway, so I just heated him up a little bit of this bison burger, and now he's happy. And then I walked away to go get the camera off the counter, and he started screaming. He said, "So good! I know you say, Mom, I just need more food." He's had breakfast and lunch, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are you gonna be such a big boy? Are you so much happier now? Uh huh. <laughs> so he's like, I'm just having like an early dinner snack, and then Dad will probably have to feed you again. I'm about to go to Bar Method. Steven's got the big kids with him right now at Jiu Jitsu, at Brody's Jiu Jitsu, and I stayed here because I was gonna get some work done and then I just felt so tired. So I actually fell asleep on the couch for like 15 minutes, which is crazy. I like really never nap. I'm glad I did. I woke up pretty early this morning and we went to bed late, so I was tired. Anyway, so I'm feeling pretty good now. I might be able to get about 30 minutes worth of stuff done on my computer before they get back and then before I have to leave. I've gotta leave here about 6.15 to go to Bar Method. <laughs> Thursday nights, Bar Method at 7 p.m. has been like my thing lately. It's called Bar Restore and it is so good. It is like 30 minutes of kick your butt, workout, and then the rest of the class 30 minutes is like stretching and like super relaxing and stuff and it is so nice. It's so nice I feel like in the busyness of like life to just quiet your mind. I know that sounds weird but just like be still and stretch and just relax. They play like really good music and it's just awesome. So I've been trying to make that a part of like my weekly routine is like Thursday nights going to Bar Restore at seven o'clock. And Steven's here with the kids um, doing bath and like dinner and all that kind of stuff. So it gives me like a break one night of the week. I mean, usually he's here helping me, but a lot of nights lately, he, I mean, most nights he's doing meetings. And so um, I'm sure he'll still have webinars and stuff and he can just kind of be on those too. But anyways, I've been loving it. This boy was hungry. He said, Mom, feed my biceps. Feed my biceps. I've got muscles to grow. Huh? <laughs> you are just too cute, and you're getting so big. He, like, never really cries like that. So I was like, what is wrong with him? So, just need a little more protein, huh? This kid is, like, such a good eater. I can't believe it. I, like, literally can't believe how much he eats. <laughs> Sometimes he eats more than... My six-year-old. Brody's a good eater too, I'm just joking. I'm just saying, sometimes, sometimes you do. I've got to clean your high chair off, Hunter. Steven got the high chair out of the attic. I think I said that in my last video, but I just haven't cleaned it yet um, from the attic. And I really need to take it outside and like power wash it. <laughs> I don't know why it looks so dirty in the attic, or from the attic, probably just dust and all kinds of gunk on it. So. Anyways, I just haven't had a chance to do that. And so that's why he's like in this or the bumbo or whatever, but I'm really ready for him to be in like a normal high chair so that I can not have to stand right next to him every second. Like a body of water. getting gas before I run to bar method. The class starts in about 15 minutes. I'm excited for it. Okay, just got to bar method. You probably can't see it over there. So there's a massive truck with like a canoe on top. <laughs> Anyways, weird. But I'm gonna go in here and do my bar store class. If you are local, if you are near South Lake, 
I cannot recommend Bar Method enough. It's literally the best workout I've ever done. I love it so much. The women here are amazing. It's just such a, a it's such a good environment. Everyone's so nice and it just honestly makes me happy. I was thinking about it on Monday night when I was in my class. I was like, I'm so thankful for this place. I like had been home all day and I needed to get out of the house and just like have a little me time. And it was just like, just what I needed. It just made me feel so good and all the endorphins. Anyways, I love it a lot. So um, anyways, if you're looking for a workout and you're near here, I highly recommend you coming and trying it out.